the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Our forty beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come seek to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood in its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as all mercy pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of his sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Let's all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, in the, in the abasement of your Son, have raised up a fallen world. Fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those who have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, I will allure her, I will lead her into the desert and speak to her heart. She shall respond there as in the days of her youth when she came up from the land of Egypt. On that day, says the Lord, she shall call me my husband and never again my Baal. I will espouse you to me forever. I will espouse you in the right and in justice, in love and mercy. I will espouse you in fidelity, and you shall know the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Every day will I bless you. And I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. They discourse of the power of your terrible needs and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundance goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, is slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Let's all stand. The Lord be with you and with yours. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him and said, My daughter has just died. But come, lay your hand on her, and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the tassel on his cloak. She said to herself, If only I can touch his cloak, I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour, the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making commotion, he said, Go away. The girl's not dead but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand, and the little girl arose. And the news of this spread throughout all the land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Do you believe, my dear friends, that Jesus can cure you of whatever sickness that you have? The woman in our Gospel, who had been bleeding for 12 years, believed that she could be healed by Jesus by only touching his cloak. Kung, kung, mahawa, kung mahawakan ko lang. And she believed that the moment she touched even the tassel of Jesus' clock, kahit yung pinakababa lang, she could have been healed. What is the display of faith of that woman, my dear friends? Sometimes, we don't get what we wish from the Lord because we doubt. And we allow the devil to disturb our faith. Thus, we don't uh, get what we want. And we see in the gospel 
a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for 12 years had been obviously healed because of, his, of her deep faith. Now, faith that is willing to overcome whatever obstacles that are put in front of her. Yan po ang ating pananampalataya. Kahit na anong mangyari, we should always hold on to it. We should not, we should not uh, uh, surrender or we should not give up from it. When Jesus noticed that this woman of, of faith have touched her, he told, Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And the result was immediate healing for that woman. Let us pray, my dear friends, to the Lord. And let us ask Him to heal us. Let us beseech the Lord to give us the same healing that He gave to the woman in the gospel. And Jesus will surely heal us for his, we will not refuse anyone who approaches with Him with deep faith and humility. Amen. Please all stand. God never intended us to die. He created us for life, but He chose death. Christ, our Redeemer, restores us to life, and we come to our Father praying to Him. In every petition we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let the Church may be a symbol of Christ's healing, work by its care for those who are sick in body, mind, and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That doctors and nurses and all those who care for the sick may share the compassion and great gratefulness of the Jesus in caring for the least of his brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people suffering from poverty may be drawn to Jesus who became poor for our sake. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may bind up hearts that are broken through our kind deeds and counseling words. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our own intentions. We pray for the urgent concerns and needs of our community, and we pray for those people whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, keep healing us from all evil, and let your goodness shine on us by the power of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man. And when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, 
The angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. The founts of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church has spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Forgive those who trespass. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, he said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Thank you. 
is our walk. In Him alone is our strength. In Him alone are we justified. In Him alone are we saved. Lord, help me to offer that does not fade to wither, and the world ever satisfy the emptiness in our heart in vain. We deny. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to Good morning God. and thank you for coming. Good morning, Father. Remember, O Mary, immaculate virgin, that never was it known that anyone amongst to your protection was left unassisted. Oh, many can see without of sin. Pray for us who have reposed you. Oh, many can see without of sin. Pray for us. Pray for us. Please kneel for the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words of David, your prophet said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today, I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits 
and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Zaina, dearest mother, shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>